Oh, I came across these little guys. They've got uh, solar components. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Plus one I've already taken apart. Thirteen of them. So I've got these taken apart. What I'm gonna try to do is dis dismantle all of these. Create a little solar panel and put it on this. We're gonna see how that goes and how it works one of those solar lights in action uh, it looks as though it turns itself on after uh, after the sun has gone down so it's got a probably some circuitry inside that tells it that there's no power getting to the solar power anymore or the, to the solar panel anymore and then that circuitry tells it to turn the, uh, the, the battery power on which is what powers the lights anyway not a ton of light coming off of that and especially with my camera you can't really see uh, it's enough to light up my you know my kitchen enough for me to see what's in here but uh, I think they're gonna be kicking like three volts each three and a half volts um, and I think that should be enough to power my power wheel well, I've wired these I've got uh, a set of uh, four solar panels wired in series and this set of four wired in series uh, and I think each of them are kicking about four volts so we've got 16 volts coming this way 16 volts coming this way uh, I've wired them in parallel circuits and uh, so we've got a total of um, how many volts uh, just 16 volts uh, I'm not sure the amperage um, anyway so I've got uh, these all wired up uh, I'm sitting underneath the tree and it's kind of overcast today but I think we're still kicking a decent amount of voltage. Oh, 17 volts there. I think we'll go put it in the sun real quick and see what happens. All right, so here in the sun, we're getting 19 and a half volts. Okay, so we've got some coroplast, I believe is what it's called. That's what these signs are made out of. Um, but uh, I went ahead and cut some holes to feed my wires through. I've now connected the wires uh, four in series here and four in series here. And I'm going to connect these two series into parallel and uh, then from there I'll start putting them together and uh, see if it charges and works. I soldered a couple of or I soldered all the joints and then covered them with tape because they look real bad. No, that's just to protect them. Then I added, but they do look bad. I added some wire. I'm going to put this as a cover for the wires. And then uh, trim it. We'll see how it looks. One of my favorite things about working or living where I do is I live right next to Harbor Freight. So I was able to go pick up some of these. They're only a couple bucks. And I'm going to solder these to... Oh, let's use this wire. Why not? So, uh, solder this one to a piece of wire, solder this one to a piece of wire, and then I'm going to plug it in. I've already got the solar panels plugged into the charge controller. So, we're almost done. The wire's fed and uh, ugly soldered. I'm just going to put this back on and connect it to the charge controller. I'm going to set up panels, charge controller, battery. I don't have a load, but I don't think it's a problem. And it looks like this guy's working. There we go. And if I push this little button, it tells me it's in C mode, which I believe stands for charge. I would guess. Anyway, 